Today I will discuss about effects of prism in eye movement. When a prism is placed in front of eye, it will move towards the apex of the prism. You might be thinking, why does eye move towards the apex of the prism? Our eyes are positioned in such a way so that rays from an object can fall in the fovea. Now when a prism is placed in front of the eye, it will bend the rays towards the base due to its optical properties. Due to bending rays towards the base of prism, ray that was focused on the fovea now will fall in an extra foveal area. When rays shift from fovea to an extra foveal area, I will also move in such a pattern towards apex of the prism so that the ray can fall in the fovea. If I doesn't move, then due to the ray focusing on an extra foveal area will create diplopia. That's why eyes moves towards the apex of the prism so that rays can be focused in the fovea. Here in this figure, rays from this object focusing fovea of the both eye. Now a base out prism is introduced in front of right eye. Now due to its optical property, it will bend the rays towards the base. So the rays will be focused somewhere here. Now if rays from that object focus in the fovea of left eye and an extra foveal area of right eye, then diplopia will be produced. So to avoid diplopia, the eye must rotate inward or towards the nose so that the rays in the right eye can be focused on the fovea. This is why eyes always moves towards the apex of the prism. The effects of prism on movements of the eyes may be considered in terms of either monocular effects or binocular effects. Binocular effects may be considered in terms of horizontal prismatic effects vertical prismatic effects. Now monocular prismatic effect. If one looks at a distant object with one eye occluded while a prism is introduced before the eye, the image of the object will be displaced towards the apex of the prism. If the person wishes to look at the image of the object, the eye must move through an angle equal to the angle of the deviation of the prism. Base in prism would cause the eye to move outward that is abduction and base out prism would cause the eye to move inward that is adduction. Now binocular prismatic effects. If with both eyes open one looks at a distant object while a base in prism is placed before the right eye and a base out prism of equal amount is placed before the left eye. In order to look at the object, both eyes will move to the right by an equal amount. The movements of the eyes in which both eyes move in the same direction and of an equal amount are called conjugate movements or version movement. If a small amount of base out prism is placed before each eye, in order to see a single image, both eyes will move inward by the same amount. Eye movements in which the eyes move toward one another or away from one another are called disjunctive movement or vergence movement. Now horizontal prismatic effects. When prisms are placed before each eye with their both base in or both base out, the resultant amount of prismatic effect can be found by adding the powers of the prism that is base in added to base in and base out added to base out. For example, in right eye three prism diopters base out and in left eye three prism diopters base out. Here the prisms are placed horizontally with their both base out. So the resultant prismatic effect will be power of prism in right eye plus power of prism in left eye or six prism diopter. So if we place 3 prism diopter base out in right eye and 3 prism diopter base out in left eye then the total prismatic effect will be 6 prism diopter base out. 
if the bases are in opposite directions but of different powers the power of the weaker prism is subtracted from the stronger prism to get the resultant prismatic effect example right eye four prism diopters base in left eye two prism diopters base out here the prisms are placed horizontally with their bases in opposite directions so the resultant prismatic effect will be power of stronger prism minus power of weak prism or two prism diopter so if we place four prism diopter base in in right eye and two prism diopters base out in left eye then the resultant prismatic effect will be two prism diopter base in in right eye now vertical prismatic effects when vertical prisms are placed before each eye with their bases in the same direction for each eye but with different powers the resultant vertical prismatic effect is found by subtracting the power of the weaker prism from the stronger prism the direction of base of the resultant vertical prismatic effect will be same as stronger prism for example in right eye three prism diopter base up and in left eye one prism diopter base up here prisms are placed vertically with the base in the same direction that is up so the resultant vertical prismatic effect will be power of stronger prism minus power of weaker prism or two prism diopters and the base direction will be the same as stronger prism that is base up so if we place a three prism diopter base up in right eye and one prism diopter base up in left eye then the overall prismatic effect will be two prism diopters base up in the right eye if the bases are in opposite directions the resultant vertical prismatic effect is found by numerically adding the powers of the two prisms since a base up effect for one eye is the same as a base down effect for the other eye the total prismatic effect may be expressed with respect to either eye such as base up for one eye or base down for the other eye example in right eye two prism diopter base down and in left eye two prism diopter base up here prism are placed vertically with the base in opposite direction so the total prismatic effect will be power of prism in right eye plus power of prism in left eye or total four prism diopter so we can say if we place two prism diopter base down in right eye and two prism diopter base up in left eye then the overall vertical prismatic effect will be four prism diopters base down in right eye or four prism diopters base up in left eye stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly